First lesson that you know we really kind of founded the company on was was finding the right solution. Um, and so you know historically, you have these quadrants and ways and things like that that put vendors in these six places, and um, but they don't necessarily tell you, okay, is this going to be the right solution for you? It's kind of a generic sort of horse race approach. And so um, you know we decided, as Rebecca mentioned, there had to be a better way to really focus on. It. And so this was really one of the first lessons that we kind of founded the company around, which is that the right tool is the one that's not generically the best tool, but it's the best fit for you for using your your uh, you know your own requirements around uh, your scenarios. Um, how do you want to weight those scenarios? And then how, what about strategic considerations around things like a code-based modernity, the vendor roadmap, the all-important ecosystem, and how do you want to weigh these things so that you know, you can get to your own quadrant. And so, you know, one of the things that we've developed is this notion of dynamic quadrant building. And here's an example here where you have two different quadrants in the portal marketplace. One on the left, the customer's really focused on, on internal collaboration. And on the right, um, you know, it was more around BI and dashboards. So the first lesson here is that the best solution is the one that's fits best for your unique circumstances. Um, and so it's really been a sort of foundational thing is to, to, uh, to, to focus here on fit. So the second lesson is around marketplaces. And, you know, I get told uh, a lot and I've always been told, well, you know, yeah, there might be 36 WCM vendors or 40 DAM vendors, but this marketplace is going to, you know, consolidate the way the ERP marketplace has. And the interesting thing is that almost never happens with respect to digital technology. I think that there's been so much innovation and so much uh, uh, activity in this space that it has been very difficult for the big vendors to really uh, keep up. And so what's happened is you have these very dynamic marketplaces with a lot of different suppliers to be sure each with their own pros and cons different delivery models different geographic emphasis certainly different architectures and technologies but one thing here if you look for example in the lower left these legacy platforms from the likes of sharepoint open text oracle ibm so forth uh, have tended to underperform both in wsam we also see this in digital asset management um, a little bit more, obviously more traction in terms of enterprise collaboration where IBM, Microsoft are big players. Um, but when it gets particularly to sort of digital marketing tools, um, we see highly fragmented marketplaces and, and they're likely to remain that way for a while.